What's going on you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT Champion and now let's get ready to go for a, a full color variation for a custom race on Gran Turismo Sports. So, looks like I'm about to use the blue color variation version of the F1 WOA EQ Power Plus, but this is very good to be usable for a one make race. So, looks like this is a a variation version of Lewis Hamilton F1 car, but in the reason reason why why most other Gran Turismo players have tried to go and use something else, well, the F1 car is very unavailable on the library editor because it is very unaccessible for it. So looks like this time it's to get everything going on for race round of ten. So looks like it's time. Time to go for a race at Auto Drumel National Monza for probably for two rounds for giving a little bit better time to go. So looks like it's time to go for noon. Just going to go and get everything set up for this one. So looks like this is going to be prepared for the only hard going challenge. So let's just going to make it 10 laps. So this might be very good to use with all the grid starts. Okay, so this one is going to be full on professional because this is going to be very good to see it and it looks like almost 60,000 credit range for it because this is going to be very good to be prepared for it. All F1 cars and color variations are now competing in for the race. Good thing the F1 car is about to get set up for the same engine like the official one. So, after I took a lot of hard going round racing in the GT League, and it looks like time to take a little bit more prep practice working on here in Monza. So, looks like I might be able to do two rounds, so this might be very quick enough for it. Oh yeah, probably I might be able to switch it to custom settings because this is might be giving a good choice to use it for it. So I might be able to go and get a new one for it. So probably there are no balance of performance recommended for this F1 car because there's no performance points needed in as possible for it. Well, probably it is. It is part of Group X category for it, so I might be able to go with racing soft tires. That might be getting a little better extinguished performance. All right, here we go, and let's race. Okay, so I kind of think that so probably the color variation can also work on the interior too. So I might be able to go and keep it up until up to five. And probably, yeah, this one is gonna get very harder and challenging in for it. Okay, so probably this might be getting a little hard to start for it. Okay, look at all these F1 go, racing at Monza and then just take a little bit of second chicane approach. Well, probably the first chicane is giving us a little hard bump on it. So we might be able to pull the brake earlier wisely for it. Yeah, just try to go and deal with some several F1 cars. We'll be giving a little right hand to do it. Well, probably 10 laps with using fastest F1 cars can also be quite giving a lot of good experience to do some exercise workouts and such sort. But probably having a little long endurance break, and well, probably every F1 car can also take more laps around the track in different places for it. Looks like lap number two, only eight more to go. Then 
currently the 14 by 10 F1 cars left. Well, probably TCS can also give it a little bit more heavy stick turn. That might be quite very good rather than the low position on traction control. Here comes the 
another one, so let's just kind of keep it left dived in. Just try to keep it nice and slow to drive like a professional. Okay, looks like things about to get drawn closer. So let's just kind of use the uh, PCS Zero to buy closer to put it back in the giving a little caution as we need it in for. Well, maybe most other F1 drivers can also take exercise caution by following up the apex to give a little assistance for it. Always have exercise caution when driving a Formula 1 race car to race around the track. I might be giving a good choice to stay struggle hard after picking up on the A tier screen over in C. But man, looks like it is going straight faster for it before I'm going back on the first chicane. There you go. Okay, this might be giving a little call out for a replaced car at X track for it. Okay, so this might be a very unfair moment for it. Okay, so probably four laps remaining. I'm trying to think that was very close of course because that gives a little bit more recent exercise on Monza, which is doing a little bit more important for it. I'm gonna have to keep it back up and track before the race is about to be over soon. Okay, it looks like time to get rid of the 10 gap for it, and this might be very closer up for it. So, looks like 7 F1 cars still there after that hard turn on that first chicane. Okay, three more to go. Okay, let's fold that puppy in. Looks like things are about to get drawn in very closer for the other three F1 cars are about to get ca caught up in the chase. Okay, now let's overtake the silver one again. The Magenta F1 car is going to be going in for it. Drive fast straight to it. There you go. Looks like I'm on the top three and this is going to be very closer in for. Well, looks like only five gaps left and so I'm probably going to catch up to Jay Jensen, the Swedish driver. Two more laps and this will get drawn closer. Ooh -hoo -hoo. A little bit gets nearly there closer. Okay, so let's just go and relaunch. And keep the gap shoulder keep squeezing in. Coming closer to Jensen's lead. Almost there, folks. Looks like things about to get really get 
heat up a lot of heavy paste around here. Okay, Dave's foot on the apex and then giving a little tic tac turn. So I'm going down for one gap left. Okay, keep that circle torque up in one and two. Looks like I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer up ahead. Okay, looks like it's the chance to go for it, and looks like only down for one lap remains. Oh man, for somebody to hit the, the breaking point sign, well, maybe better to grab the orange tab to pick it up. Okay, looks like the ninth lap is going to be very hard and very challenging, folks. This is going to get a lot of heated match between two color F1 cars. Both the orange and blue, blue F1 car is about to get very closer and looks like I'm about to take a little bit more stepping in. Just keep it up only 0.3 left. Before taking the last turn and then I finally come in first place. That was an extremely professional moment to go and take on to the final stretch for this one. Okay, so stay at the first gear and this will give it a better close on. Now, probably when I'm also reached in first place, time to little switch up to the interior view for it. Oh yeah, I probably forgot one thing about the middle part for it. It also shows the driver's cam view for it. It also shows how the handling is doing in for it. Well, maybe most other F1 cars can also use that middle thing for the camera in it. It also keeps track of the progress of the driving handling skills for it. So, looks like it's time to go smooth it in and Driving into the finish line. Okay, so probably might be able to keep a close eye on the Orange F1 for it. Jensen is getting a little bit much closer in for it, it looks like. Taking a little final turn. And home free for the checker flag, and I've made it at last. Well, looks like that was a lot of heavy practice for using several of the F1 car sports. But even so, I've just finally come in first place with the color variation F1 WOA EQ Power Plus. Well, looks like that was a good 15 minute race. So, looks like definitely gonna be prepared for it and also, the clean race bonus is giving a little perfect mark on it. Well, I really guess that taking a little hard practicing with using F1 cars on the GT League is giving us a little difficult time for it. So, looks like the Grand Prix of Italy is finished. Now, let's just go in for the next race. So, I kind of think let's just go over to Autodromo de Interlagos for another 10 lap race because this will get everything going on for it because custom race number two is the Grand Prix of Brazil everyone well probably most of the most other F1 officials always had to come up with a title and they always like to say it 
the Grand Prix of any country in which which race is going to be held at. Well, this might be giving a little one big motivated challenging for it. So, looks like the race is going to be held at Interlagos. They always call it the Grand Prix of Brazil and this will get everything started out for it. All right, let's go and let's get ready to do a great tour to see how I did pretty good on the Interlago. Okay, so other F1 cars are about to go and give a little head start and I'll do the last. So I'll be able to do it safely for it. Okay, well, probably this might be giving a little rough on me. For it. So I should probably have to stay balanced for it. Okay, so try not to bump several of the F1 cars while the racing. Get at it again. Overpass on on the red and blue F1 again. The other two is coming back in and Okay, well, probably the yellow F1 is giving a little bit more concentration time for it. Okay, so it looks like it always drops out at, from last, but maybe this is going to be a little bit of a hard time to go and catch up with several of the F1 cars to be very hard for. So, I might be able to stick on the PCS3, so this this might be giving a little durable choice, but we also need a little bit more staying in time for it. Alright, that's better. Looks like I'm about to be climbed up into the top. That's better, just keep the handling up and go, and then just step on to the apex freely whenever you need to. Okay, well, definitely the black F1 just passed by me. Well, I know this is gonna get a little bit more hard work done. So close. Okay, so probably the also need to be a requirement to have a little reduction on the aerodynamic part. So this might be getting a little hard turn around the Brazilian track. So let's just give it a little review too and see what happens if this is going to be giving a little time. That's nice, just stay at it. Oh man, looks like that's definitely a little hard time for it. Well, maybe this might be giving a little matter of resort because it takes a little hard time to using the F1 car to master the Brazilian racetrack. But even so, this is going to be giving you no choice to go to the pit and change different tires. Alright, so time to go super soft tires for plan B. If 
All right, this might be gives a little bit more super improvement. So it looks like I'm coming back to it. Well, I kind of think I should really want to go and use the super soft tires, but, well, probably this gives a little bit of a hard time in the regular soft tires, recent category for it. Now, I'm just going to do another experiment test on that F1 car to do this with recent super soft tires, and also to go really fast to keep up for it. Only down for five laps remaining. a little part rough on it thanks to the yellow F1. because 
I kind of think driving F1 cars on Interlagos is very hard to challenge ourselves to get everything ready up and go, but probably this might be giving a little bit more helpful recommended settings for it. Well, maybe most of you guys really want to come up with an idea to see if this might be getting a little bit of on this track. Well, probably using a modern F1 car to be giving a little bit more conclusion to be a prop driving around the track to see if this is going to be good performance or probably a bad improvement for it. And also, don't want to get caught up when you're out at the outside turn. This is going to be the bad weak spot for, for the F1 car. Okay, almost there. Only got one lap until it looks like I'm on the ninth. Just giving a little one final heads up. Okay, it's a little bit much safer for it. Don't want to get caught up in that. Okay, so it looks like the outside turn is going to, going to be the hard part for it. Maybe I had to do a little bit more reverse for it. But even so, well, I guess this is might be good for end of practice for one, only one day for it. But maybe I'm kind of thinking I might be able to exit out for it. But I kind of think that's it for race number two for our practice on Interlago Sports. Well, sorry folks, I'm just going to have to be exited out for it because it also gives the sweat. Well, probably this is, might be giving a little bit more break time for it. But don't worry. I'll be able to race again soon. Probably later on for it. So let's just go and, and do a little mileage exchange. So I might be able to go and purchasing the B4 Dark Lake Large. That might be g giving the better choice to have a different color on it. So, looks like that was a pretty good race for today and also the hard one from the second one for it. But I'll make sure that this will be putting on for the next part is going to be used on the time trial board. But my color variation F1 car is going to need some more work on it. But probably car settings could also need to be setting up here. Well, I kind of think this might be good usable to use the settings board. So I might be able to change back in to the custom setting board. So looks like I should probably have to do a lot of hard work to do using the F1 car board. So folks, hope you enjoyed this video and taking a little bit more practicing with the Formula One car. I hope this is going to give you some more training to do if you really want to do on lobby if, in case if you really need to do some more workout on it. So don't forget to click like, comment and subscribe on YouTube and also don't forget the links on the description below if you want to see more for it. Well I'll see you guys next time and I'm about to take a little break for it because it gets a lot of extreme hard work for this F1 cardboard, but I still also like it, but it also needs a lot of more work to do. So I'll see you guys later and keep on racing you guys. Just do it perfectly.